hello traders let me quickly take you through on how to find good entries in the forex market using this trading guide okay uh i wanted to make a video but it is best that you also have this trading guide okay so the first thing that you need to do you have to set up this uh, sessions indicator this is my mobile phone it is possible to set it up on your mobile phone you can also download this trading clock if you are unable to set up this sessions indicator let me show you why it is important okay you see right here this is this is euro usd the trading guide helps us to find the right places to trade the market for example the euro usd see that it wouldn't be wise to find entries there because it is ranging instead it would be really good to find an entry there or start looking for an entry there because it is exactly where price started taking off into one direction and they same thing and guess what if you open the sessions indicator let me do that you would realize that there's something in common with this place and this place and that is the end of the pink box which is the tokyo session so for this pair euro usd these days it is best to start looking for trades there at the end of the tokyo session end of the tokyo session okay so that's where this pdf helps us and this sessions indicator helps us second thing this pdf doesn't really show the strategy for the strategy i'm going to show you it's very easy but it needs dedication you have to practice it well if you are to find good trades in the market it's not so 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 simple but it's very very much doable okay right here see that you have your stop loss is supposed to be 10 or 15 pips and then your take profits your tp1 you can make it 15 pips 25 pips tp2 40 pips tp3 okay easy to understand and there's no need for top-down analysis for the strategy traders i used to say that if you want to find an entry let's say at the end of the tokyo session or from the end of the tokyo session i used to say that you can mark the last candle you can mark the last candle and then if price closes above you take it by trade if it closes below you take a sell trade but guess what this strategy i think the big banks also or whosoever controls the market they might have seen my videos for this strategy so they have started playing around with it let me just show you real examples because if you do this what happens right now is that price will maybe close below and then you sell and then it takes off and go bullish okay so if you are to trade using this entry rule you have to be aware of these false moves let me just show you some examples okay let's pick we were on euro usd let's go to gbp usd okay let's just highlight the end of tokyo uh, let me remove everything here if you mark the candle at the end of tokyo see what happened price dropped a little bit and then took off in the opposite direction so you have to be aware of these traders you have to be aware of this that's if you are going to be using this entry rule okay so if you sell and you see price closing above you can place by trades you can place by trades let me take another one okay i'm still going to show you how to trade for better results okay 
we were on GU. Let's go to, let's just pick AUD. Okay, that's AUD USD. Let's do the same thing. You mark the candle at the end of Tokyo session. See that price, price actually closed below and then took off in the opposite direction. So if you are to do this, be aware of this move. Be aware of this move. Sometimes it doesn't happen as you have seen on Euro USD, but sometimes this thing happens a lot. Okay, enough with that entry rule. What I usually do, traders, for those good entries, okay? Remember, you are supposed to start looking for entries there. What I do is that around this region where I know that price is going to be taking off either upwards or downwards. Okay, I add this, this parabolic. Please give yourself time and learn and understand how this parabolic thing works. Okay, so around this region, you have you have uh, this parabolic okay and then you have that parabolic you also had that parabolic okay so what you will do the reason why i'm pointing this one at the end is because i'm not sure whether it appeared when price started moving upwards or it wasn't there so let's say it wasn't there so what you will do is mark the place where those parabolics start from okay let me make it neat you mark like that and then you mark like that okay on the five minutes time frame see that price closed above you take it by trade you maintain your stop loss of 10 to 15 pips let's just take another one euro usd euro euro usd was a, a clean move okay hope you have seen that so on euro usd remember you are supposed to start looking for trades from the end of tokyo and then from the end of tokyo you had this okay you had that parabolic okay this parabolic because all you look or focus on is the reaching around where price takes off you had that parabolic and then you also had this dotted line of the parabolic so you would mark that and then also mark that price closed above there you would have taken a buy trade okay it is so powerful let's just pick another pair okay at random uh let's take a euro gbp up there from the end of sydney okay this is euro gbp remember the end of sydney is there so what you focus on are the parabolics around that region okay around that region so you had this parabolic and then you also had that parabolic okay or that parabolic so what you do is you mark where that parabolic starts from and then you mark this one also once you have done this see that price closed above and then you would have had your profits at least your first and second tps okay let's pick another one okay let's just pick another one uh beginning of new york let's just take let's take uh gbp chf i'm picking at random beginning of new york Okay, this is GBP CHF and the New York session begins from there. So you have this parabolic around that region 
and then you also have this parabolic notice that i only focus from where the dotted line starts from okay so what you do is you mark like that and then you also mark like that see that price closed above you would have taken a buy trade okay this wasn't really a good trade i'm sure you would have been taken out okay i'm only looking uh at what happened today okay not the previous days not the previous days otherwise see that on this day the new york session started there your focus would have been on the beginning of i'm not sure whether there's a parabolic that begins from there or there but on the lower side you had that parabolic okay so if you mark like that see that right here you would have had a sell trade okay easy easy as that traders it's not 100 percent but it is so powerful just take this pdf do this every day during these times okay if you don't have the indicator you can also use this clock you know that from 11 a.m gmt plus two it is the beginning of or let me say it is the end of the tokyo session okay and 6 p.m gmt plus two it is the end of london so you can just focus on a ud usd so i really wish you the best on this thing dedicate yourself dedicate yourself if you decide to use the easier strategy by the easier strategy i mean marking the first candle of the new york session and if price closes below you sell okay it works but be aware that it might give you a false signal before taking off in the right direction and the previous pdf the second version don't throw it away it still works those strategies still work you have eurocad and some other strategies that are really good so just put together all these pieces of information you will make money in this forex market thank you